Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides on the path of development. Hello, I'm your host Lipakshi and today in my episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give a glimpse of our country's diversity. Mahashivratri is a Hindu festival which is dedicated to Lord Shiva. While there are a number of legends associated with the festival, the most popular states that Lord Shiva and Goddess Parvati got married on this day. The festival is celebrated with great religious fervor all around the country. Let's take a look how different regions in India celebrated the grand festival this year. Shiva temples decked up in colorful lights with devotees crowding around them to offer milk, flowers and leaves to shivlings marks the auspicious occasion of Mahashivratri. Observed on the new moon day in the month of Magh of the Hindu calendar, the festival is celebrated in the honor of Hindu god Shiva and marks a remembrance of overcoming darkness and ignorance in life and the world. Devotees also observe a full day fast on Mahashivratri, which is kept not only to attain Shiva's blessings, but is also a test of one's own determination. Like every year this time too, the festival was observed with great faith and color all around the country. In New Delhi, devotees arrived in large numbers at the famous Jhandewalan temple to offer prayers to their Lord. प्रकट दिवस है अर्थात भगवान शिव लिंग रूप में प्रकट हुए थे पुराणों में वर्णन है यह भी मान्यता है कि भगवान शिव और पार्वती का विवाह हुआ था आज के दिन लेकिन पुराणों में यह भी वर्णन है कि भगवान शिव जो है अदृश्य थे लेकिन आज के दिन भगवान शिव लिंग के रूप में इस भूधरा पे प्रकट हुए थे इसलिए शिवरात्रि का विशेष महत्व है तो आज का दिन भगवान शिव को समर्पित है Similar scenes were witnessed in Madhya Pradesh where priests at Ujjain's Mahakal temple performed the famous Bhasma Aarti of Lord Shiva on the occasion of Mahashivratri. Following the traditional rituals, priests were also seen offering milk and honey to Shivling. <laughs> In the southern city of Tiruvananthapuram, a giant idol of Lord Shiva and Goddess Ganga were installed. People were seen clicking pictures of the idol. Meanwhile, in the religious capital of India, Varanasi, devotees celebrated the festival with much calmness and mysticism. Devotees strong the shores of River Ganga to bathe in the holy waters and performed Shiv Puja on the ghats. Duniya ki sabse khub surat jodi Shiv aur Parvati ki Parvati Maya ki. To ye aaj hamare Baba ki shaadi hai, vibha hai. Aur Shiv ka matlab sab me sat hai, wahi Shiv hai. Aur ek dibb sorup jo kashi me milta hai, ek dusre se prem milta hai aur har har Mahadev ka nara har jagah gosta hai. Shivratri celebrations in Rameshwaram city of Tamil Nadu were full of color, energy and zeal. Devotees thronged the Ramanatha Swami temple to mark the occasion by taking out a chariot procession with a Shiva statue on a pedestal. As Rameshwaram houses one of the 12 Jyotirlingas, a pool of devotees thronged the Ramnath Swami temple all day to offer prayers to the deity. Devotees believe that whatever one wishes for and prays for with devotion on this day, that wish is fulfilled. On this day, devotees mark the festivities by consuming drinks and sweets. <laughs> Devotees 
இந்த சிவராத்திரி முன்ன காலத்திலே சிவ வழிபாட்டையும் புலி வழிபாட்டையும் செய்தால் அந்த குளமானது செலுத்தி ஓங்கும் இந்த பன்னிரண்டு ஜோதிலிங்க ஸ்தலத்திலே காசி ராமேஸ்வரம் மிகவும் முக்கியமானது அதை கருதி ராமேஸ்வர புனிதத்திலே வட இந்தியாவிலிருந்தும் ஏராளமான பக்தர்கள் இந்த சிவராத்திரி புனிதத்திலே கெஞ்சாபிஷேகம் செய்து வழிபட வந்துள்ளார்கள் In India 12 shivratris are observed in a year out of which Mahashivratri is considered the most auspicious According to legends on this night Lord Shiva performs the cosmic dance of creation preservation and destruction also known as Tandav India is a country where Sufism has not just flourished but has also become a way of integrating different religious communities. Even today, the teachings of these saints inform the lives of people and this was very well reflected at the shrine of Saint Hazrat Saha Supi Abdul Rashid where people of all faiths visit to seek the blessings of the holy saint. Examples of peaceful coexistence and religious harmony are spotted all around the country even in the most far flung areas situated on the indo bangladesh border of the siliguri city lies the shrine of hazrat sah supi abdul rashid which is visited by people of different religious communities from nearby villages it is believed that the saint fulfills the wishes of all and nobody returns empty handed from him hum har saal aata hai यहाँ का आदमी जो मुस्लिम हिंदू एक साथ हम मिलजुल के रहता है क्योंकि इसका धर्म मुस्लिम का धर्म इस्लाम धर्म इस्लाम धर्म का वो जो करना है वो कर लेता है हमारा हिंदू धर्म का लोग वही मदरसे में दुआ मांग रहे हैं पीर बाबा से क्योंकि यहाँ के कोई आपस में कोई झगड़ा जाटी नहीं होता है मिलजुल के हम रहता है पीपल फ्रॉम नियर बाई विलेजेस ऑफ चतुर्गज थिलुगज बुग्रीवीत Jamagach and the Rajganj block of Jalpaiguri visit the shrine. It is quite commendable to note that officers of the border security force make special arrangements and make sure that all devotees reach the shrine hassle free. The shrine has been long serving as a symbol of religious harmony. BSF ke higher headquarters se har varsh ये परमिशन मिलती है ताकि हमारे इलाके के लोग आराम से अपने जो दुआएं हैं जो अपना ट्रेडिशन है उसको फॉलो कर सकें उसका पालन कर सकें उसके लिए बी पूरी व्यवस्था करती है पूरे बॉर्डर पे एक्स्ट्रा पेट्रोल एक्स्ट्रा गार्ड लगती है ताकि कोई भी अप्रिय घटना ना घटे लेकिन हमारे देशवासी जो यहाँ पर रहने वाले हैं जिनको यहाँ पर इस मज़ार पर आके दुआ पढ़ना जरूरी हर साल होता है तो उनको हम सुविधा प्रदान करते हैं दीज दरगाह लाउडली प्रोक्लेम मैसेज ऑफ पीस एंड ब्रदरहुड एंड दे हैव लॉन्ग सर्व एज मार्कर्स ऑफ सोशल कॉन्कर्ड दी हार्मनी बिटवीन दी मेनी रिलीजियस कम्युनिटीज हैज बिन डिफाइनिंग कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ इंडिया एंड नाउ राउंड अप ऑफ सम ऑफ द मेजर स्टोरीज दैट मेड न्यूज रिसेंटली Animal lovers in India gathered in northern Noida city to participate in the pet show Pet Gala where dogs of different breeds including labradors, golden retrievers, doberman and pug walked the ramp. While 400 dogs walked in to participate in the event, 280 cats took part in a feline championship. We are here at the Pet Gala for the first time. and my champion boy has already won three prizes we had amazing time uh, it's a good weekend get away with your pet where you can enjoy fun activities and have some spend some quality time with your pet and make them socialize with other pets as well since mine was very anti social coming here really helped he's gotten along with dogs and people pet gala which was held at the international trade expo center noida marked the biggest pet show in the northern indian city Visitors which included children were excited to attend the pet show and spend quality time with the dogs and the cats. Renowned Indian director Sanjay Leela Bansali announced his maiden work 
with a web series as he held an interactive session for the upcoming Netflix series Hira Mandi with the OTT platform's chief executive officer Ted Sarandos in Western Mumbai city. The web series cast Sunakshi Sinha, Manisha Koirala, Aditi Rao Hadri and Sharmeen Segal also attended the event. Every woman is a queen and these were courtesans who behind their veils were real women. They were, they felt so much pain, there was, there was so much that they went through uh, and yet they would come in the evening and sing and dance. So look at those lives. They're called the courtesans. They do not have a very um, a, a, a place in society. Uh, society goes to them. They please those men. They entertain those men. And they go back to their dark world. And once the prime time is over, the courtesan is dead and over. She is forgotten. So how are you going to... What about this, those jewelry that they wear and the makeup they wear and try and disguise and camouflage all the anguish that they feel? Um, this is what is being told through the... Uh, uh, through the uh, series. Bansali along with the cast of the upcoming Netflix release also launched the series trailer. Hira Mandi takes the audience back to a pre-independent India where three generations of women made their livelihoods as courtesans in the red light district of Hira Mandi. Ingrained with rich values and various beliefs, India is known for its diverse culture and unique traditions across the world. It is a land of Sufi saints who have not only played a key role in combining different religious communities, but also have emphasized on inward search for humanity. So today we take you to the shrine of Sufi saint Hazrat Sayyid Shah Musa Qadri in Hyderabad city that has served as a pilgrimage site for the people coming from different religious and ethnic backgrounds. The Dargah of Hazrat Sayyid Shah Musa Qadri in the Hyderabad city is a testament to the marvellous heritage and culture Indians have preserved for generations. For more than 200 years, the shrine has remained an epicentre of communal harmony in the southern city of India. कोई बिला लिहाज़े मज़हब मिलत हिंदू मुस्लिम सिख ईसाई हर एक से मिलते और हर एक के लिए जो है दुआ का तो ये इन मामलों में हुआ कि आप इंटीग्रेशन के बहुत बड़े सुफिसेंट थे जिससे आज सारा सारा शहर हैदराबाद दक्कन दक्कन जो है आपका मुताकित था Sayyid Shah Fazlullah Qadri, the custodian of the Darga and a descendant of the revered Sufi saint, doesn't get tired of narrating incidents about Hazrat Sayyid Shah Musa Qadri and his miraculous prowess. He says the Sufi saint saved hundreds of lives during the floods in Hyderabad in 1829 AD and thereafter in 1908. <laughs> तो ये जो पुल पुल खदीम है वो पुल जो है टूट गया पानी खरीब आने लगा तो लोगों ने आप से आके जाके क्योंकि यहां यहीं पर खानकाह सूफिया मौजूद है तो आप वहां पर आरा फरमाते थे और वहां जिक्र और शक्ल रहते थे सुबह का वक्त था तो लोगों ने सरकार फरमाया हुजूर पुल पुल टूट चुका है और पानी आ रहा है तो शायद हो जाए कि पूरा हमारा शहर खदीम यानी चारमीनार का शहर पूरा डूब जाए आप फरमाए ठीक हम दुआ करते हैं आप खान खशरीफ जो आज यहाँ पर मौजूद है तो उस खानखा में आप आपका एक बैठने का मकाम था जिसे गद्दी शरीफ कहा कहा जाता है और वहाँ आप अक्सर बिस्तर रात का वक्त गुजारते रात भर बिल्कुल ही अलग कोने बैठकर अल्लाह की बात करते थे सुबह उठे हुए थे आप आपके जो है आपके इल्जा के बाद पूरे महल्ले के लोग आए और आप उसी अंदाज में एक जिक्र की एक फिक्र की एक फैज की और एक सुफिसेंट के अंदाज में Allah से रुझू होते हुए दुआएं करते हुए निकले बहने ने फरमाया कि जब आप आपने देखा कि पुल का पानी बह रहा है और खरीब खरीब नजर गया तो आप आपने एक निगाह डाली और अपने नगर से इशारा किया कि उसको ए ए मुस्लिम दी के कहा क्या तुझे नहीं मालूम कि मैं मूसा हूं और तू मूसी उतर जा और पानी वहीं थम गया और फिर पूरा पानी वापस हो गया आफ्टर दीस मिराकुलस इवेंट्स the faith in the Sufi saint had further emboldened among his followers. 
Till date, a large number of devotees from different religious backgrounds visit the Darga and pay their tribute to the holy saint. And now we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of World in Focus. Around a thousand performers clad in traditional costumes featuring white wax masks and hats adorned with huge ostrich feathers paraded to the sound of drums in Belgium's most famous carnival, the first to be held in three years. Some 55,000 visitors came to the town each of the three festive days, culminated in Mardi Gras, said Patrick Haumont, a spokesperson for the carnival in Binche, which is about 50 kilometers southwest of Belgium's capital Brussels. To the cheers and applause of spectators, the merrymakers toddled down the historic streets with baskets full of oranges, throwing the fruit at revelers during what UNESCO says is one of Europe's oldest surviving street carnivals. Binche's lead character is the Gile, a figure wearing a brown, red and golden costume with a white cap and small green spectacles featured on its face mask. On reaching the town's main square for the parade's big finale, the Gilles don elaborate ostrich feather hats weighing several kilograms. Pierrot's sailors, harlequins and peasants follow in the procession, small bells tune to their costumes ringing as local brass bands play the streets. Large crowds of film fans welcomed director Steven Spielberg on the Berlinale red carpet evening as the 76-year-old filmmaker was honoured with the festival's Lifetime Achievement Award. Spielberg, whose credits include some of the biggest grossing and best-loved works in cinema history, including E.T. and Jaws, took time to sign autographs and pose for photographs ahead of his honorary Golden Bear Award ceremony and the screening of his latest film, the Fablements, a drama inspired by his childhood and teen years. Co-written by Spielberg and Tony Kushner, the movie is set in the 1950s and 60s and follows the fictional character Sammy Fableman, who is loosely based on Spielberg as a young man, as he fosters a love for film and discovers a family secret that changes the way he views the world. Washoku, a traditional dietary culture in Japan, is also registered as a UNESCO Intangible Cultural Heritage. A number of seasonal dishes are prepared using Japanese ingredients, which is a tradition among artisan chefs. A training program is being conducted at Washoku Restaurant in Kyoto with the support of Ministry of Agriculture, Forestry and Fisheries of Japan, where foreign chefs to develop foreign human resources. This year, 12 chefs trained for 10 days. The Japanese government has supported this program because this is so important in our future. Because the number of Japanese restaurants is increasing all over the world. But uh, the number of chef, Japanese chefs is not actually uh, increasing. Japanese cuisine has a long history of tradition. We got to maintain this tradition. So we got to uh, maintain this history of tradition of Japanese cuisine with the help of yours. Only Japanese cannot do make it. <laughs> so we need to work together to keep our Japanese tradition. These young chefs know the complexity and flavors of Japanese ingredients and these training programs will help in promoting Washoku all over the world. A furniture exhibition was recently held in Tokyo city of Japan. A variety of inbound conscious products are introduced at the exhibition. Fukui prefecture in Japan is famous for its wood and timber. Inside this trailer, there is a special theatre room made of wood. As this space is well designed and made of wood, it gives a sense of warmth to the visitors along with high quality sound. ペイケン杉の木がたくさんありまして、その木をま利用して、その木でできることということで、今回参加させていただいております。ホテルとか地蔵都市です。なんかで設置していただいてま広い。例えば芝生の大きい広場とかで。
あのシアタールーム的な感じで使うこともできますし、日本の杉の良さっていうのを一つ感じてほしいなとは思うんですけれども、福井県の杉を使ったいろんな技術がありますので、そういう技術もあのこの施設、あるいは他の製品で感じてもらえるとありがたいですね。With the help of some unique ideas that accumulated during the COVID 19 period, Japan is providing more comfort and new experience to foreign tourists. Well, Jammu and Kashmir has always been a dream destination for all adrenaline junkies. Recently, a group of 12 bikers completed a long bike expedition from Kanyakumari to Kashmir, with Srinagar being their final destination. Take a look. Jammu and Kashmir has always been an ideal destination for adventure tourism. With its bumpy roads and fantastic views, the Union Territory has something for every adventure enthusiast. Every year, adrenaline junkies from not just around India but the world rush to the territory for enjoying different kinds of activities like paragliding, mountain trekking, biking, or winter sports. Recently, a group of 12 bikers concluded their biking expedition in Srinagar city, all the way from the southernmost part of the country, Kanyakumari. In Kanyakumari, they started the start of the start of Kashmir. Their last end point was Kashmir, Srinagar. In this route, they have crossed many states. Their goal was to come here to tourism and adventure. और जो ये अब यहाँ से वापस जाएंगे जो बात बात पे होते हैं जैसे बात किसी दोस्त से करेंगे कि हम कश्मीर गए थे मतलब वहाँ जो एक तो प्रिंट मीडिया है वो तो ये तो नेचुरल बात करेंगे उधर और ये इन्होंने इनका ड्रीम है कि यहाँ पे ये प्रमोट हो जाए टूरिज्म स्पोर्ट्स एक्टिविटीज़ क्योंकि इनका जो मन है इनका मन है कि सबको रोज़गार मिलेगा इनका यही एक ड्रीम है कि हम यहाँ तक आए इन्होंने कम से कम बारह दिन ट्रैवलिंग की है The bike expedition was organized by Jetty Revelers in collaboration with some local travelers of the valley. The group includes bikers from Mumbai, Bangalore, Dubai and other places as well. The objective behind organizing this biking expedition was to promote adventure tourism and sports. The long and wonderful expedition concluded at the Lalit Grand Palace in Srinagar. These bikers were thrilled exploring the attractive routes and beautiful destinations and to witness how beautiful Kashmir is as a tourism destination. There is a lot of scope for tourism. So definitely yes we will go back and tell all our friends and families what we have seen here the kind of uh, hospitality we got here in uh, uh, Jammu and Kashmir especially here in Srinagar. Um, we will definitely pass on this message and uh, as riders uh, we are a group of friends and businessmen uh, the aim is not just to fulfill our passion to just to ride but while riding we also uh, fulfill certain uh, uh, social causes like uh, uh, girl child education or old age homes handicapped people we uh, we try to support uh, all these causes i got a big list from my wife to buy few stuff which which is available only in Kashmir, right? Uh, so I'm obviously I have to go now and buy things to keep her happy. Uh, I met a lot of uh, people from here. They've been extremely, extremely hospital. Uh, I mean, they've been very kind, very generous, uh, very helpful. Uh, uh, and uh, and I personally feel uh, it, 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 it kind of checks all the box from a tourism perspective and uh, from a welcoming perspective. So, I mean, this is something which we, we try to inspire uh, other people as well who, who love uh, to go on an adventure sport, be it biking or, or, or any kind of a mountaineer activity, right? Uh, so we'd obviously like to increase them. Uh, one, that apart from being fit, it also kind of opens up uh, as an individual per se, right? Uh, from a uh, tourism perspective or, or uh, from a youngster perspective here in Kashmir, uh, what we want to do is we want to promote that, okay, fine, uh, uh, we are doing all this because okay, we, we are kind of educated, uh, now we have a, a, a job in hand and now we can afford to do that. So that's a message what we want to give to the youngsters here as well. With such events organized on a regular basis at various offbeat destinations will not just lead to their inclusion in the itinerary of tourists, but also bring a revolution in the tourism industry of Jammu and Kashmir. 
Well, that's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at myindia at anin.com. I'm your host, Lipakshi, and it's goodbye from the entire production team.